that as focused as you are as well meaning as you are ile kitu governor amesahau ni kusema na wewe pia sio mlevi you are focused you are hard working and wewe you are very sober and as focused and as hard working as you are your excellency together with your deputy president nataka nikwambie sababu mimi na dada yangu waambilianga hapa mama wa county hii ya Bungoma tumesema tutaongea na Kalonzo na tutasemezana pole 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 please remain focused you and your deputy president na Musalia na mawaziri wenyu wote remain focused on the work that the people of Kenya gave you to govern and in to improve their lives as governor Toma has told us that we have a duty and you have a responsibility to improve the lives of the people of Kenya and if you fail your excellency wewe ndiye tutauliza wewe ndiye tutakwambia tulikupelekea huyu mtu bondo na huilbaru venye alirudi wewe ndiye unajua kwa hivyo wewe kaa na yeye man to man mundu ku mundu na mimi na Kalonzo tutakaa mundu ku mundu na tutaongea na tushakubaliana ya kuwa mambo ya vita mambo ya vurugu mambo ya violence itakuwa mambo ambayo lazima ikome Kenya hii kwa siasa zetu siasa itakuwa ni siasa inayoangazia maisha ya mwananchi na vile tutaboresha maisha ya mwananchi vile governor otuwa ametuambia huyu mtu akusema ukweli and want to tell your excellency as much as we have agreed to dialogue with our friends led by our brother Kalonzo Musyoka we indicated that we shall dialogue so that the use of violence as a means of political engagement in our country comes to an end and we shall continue to engage so that it is clear to our colleagues and our friends that violence can no longer be tenable as a way of negotiating yourself into power and we made it clear your excellency from our first meeting that we shall not engage in an environment of blackmail and it is sad yesterday niliona huyo mtu wa maandamano na fujo threatening the people of Kenya with blackmail in Kitangela and I want to tell my friend Raila Odinga please don't blackmail the people of Kenya using violence we shall engage with you and your people only if you do not blackmail the people of Kenya using violence if you want to blackmail the people of Kenya using violence if you have a predetermined outcome of what you want out of the talks things will not work that way my brother sababu uwezi kuja kwa mazungumzo ukiwa na nia moja peke yake na useme kama sio hivi nitarudi kwa maandamano kama unataka kurudi rudi kesho usingojezi kuingine na akirudi utapatana na wenye wako wanapambana na maandamano au sio therefore we must make it clear your excellency we are not dialoguing with our colleagues from a point of weakness we are dialoguing with them because we want to ensure that violence becomes part of our past and not our future that we focus and we allow you to govern in peace and to govern to improve the lives of our people but not every other election time people use violence to blackmail others and negotiate themselves into power na ndio maana tulisema kama kuna mazungumzo tutazungumza bora tu kwa ile meza ya mazungumzo hakuna mambo ya kugawa mamlaka ama kugawa serikali ama nusu mkate ama handshake na nimesikia hata hapa bungoma mtaki handshake ama mlikuwa mnataka bungoma mnataka handshake mnataka nusu mkate simuliito my people our people it is decided therefore my people our people it is also decided there shall be no handshake there shall be no nusumkate and we shall not engage on the basis of blackmail especially using violence to blackmail the people of Kenya kwa hivyo your excellency nimalizie kwa kusema wewe 
Karada Focus na kazi hiyo barabara umesikia hapa Bungoma Lami haichomwi nimesikia hapa hawachomi barabara hata hawangoi reli hata hawarushi mawe hata hawafanyi looting kwa maduka hawa wanajua kwenda shambani kuandamana kwa shamba na jembe walime ili bei ya gharama ya maisha irudi chini na hiyo ndio kazi muhimu mheshimiwa rais and i want to confirm to you excellency ile regulations umetuletea bunge tukiwa na papa wa roma ya kuhakikisha that there is right off of all debts touching on our sugar companies right off of all tax penalties hiyo regulations imefika bunge na tunaipiga msasa na tutaipitisha ili hawa wakulima wa hapa western kenya ambao ni wakulima hasa wa sukari ama miwa wapate afueni ili pesa irudi kwa mifuko vile Didmas alisema hapa wakati tulikuja economic forum ya hapa we promise the people of Bungoma ya kuwa pesa itarudi mifukoni kwa njia ya ukulima kwa hasla fund na ile mikakati yote umeweka mheshimiwa rais kwa hayo mengi kwa heshima sasa ni mkaribishe papa wa Roma papa wa Roma mwenyewe ndiye huyo ambaye pia ni party leader wetu wa Ford Kenya na speaker wangu wa National Assembly Papa wa Roma Mr Speaker Sa karibu Asante sana Mheshimiwa Kimani Ichungwa